Okay, this is kind of a follow-up video to that give me back my honey video. That's the honey that I scraped out of those frames on that video the other day. And I'm also going to talk about these buckets and where we get them. And uh, I think you'll like that if you're looking for uh, proper supplies or storage stuff, anything like that for cheap. So here we go with the straining. This bucket here I'm pouring into is a 42 pound bucket. It's probably a four gallon bucket, maybe a three gallon Walmart dough and cinnamon roll icing. Uh, Walmart washed it. I washed it again. Now I'm fixing to run some honey into it. I've got this paint strainer that fits on top of a five gallon bucket and I got two more paint strainers. I'm going to run this honey through all three and uh, like I've said before I'm a little particular. Some people don't filter it at all or some people filter it with a larger size filter. I just want to try to get everything I can out of it so here I go with that. Alright I got this pan strainer in first and I'm gonna cover the whole thing with the single layer paint strainer. I think these are 600 microns. I'm not sure what the pan strainer is. And I'm just gonna kind of double layer or maybe single layer this because if I double layer it would take forever. And then I'll run all the bees and yellow jackets off of my stuff and get the poured. And I'll have to leave this stuff sitting for quite some time. 24 hours at least and some of it I have to come back and strain or squeeze and break up again so that it'll run on down. So right now I'm filtering out dead bees, wax, love bugs, whatever might have gotten in there while I was scraping. I can hear it hitting the bottom of the bucket, so I know it's running pretty good. I'm not really concerned with getting every last drop of this, so what I don't scrape out of this pan, I will set it aside and let the bees have it back. Okay, now I'll take this stuff back inside where the little yellow jackets can't get to it and let it drain for about 24 hours. And then after that, I'll go back through and mash up the rest of it that didn't drain. Make sure there's, see there's still some cells that haven't been uh, crushed. And so the honey won't strain unless I crush that, which I just don't feel like fooling with right now. So, uh, but there's all kind of ways you can strain your honey. I, my first cutout I did I was in a hurry and didn't have time to wait on a bee supplier so I had my wife stop by Kmart and pick up a box of pantyhose and I used a pair of pantyhose to strain honey into a, a flower vase and that worked really well it took a long time but man that, that pantyhose strained out everything and I've used uh, window AC unit filters before and you can just use your imagination and if you don't have time to wait on it or you don't want to pay shipping cost or whatever there's cheaper options that may not be as easy but will work just as well now on our buckets you're gonna like this tip if you don't already know it but these Walmart buckets these are five gallons we have some that are probably four gallons maybe that's a a five gallon on the bottom so that one's probably four uh, these are from the bakery department and when they're done with their buttercream icing or whatever they have in them they wash them out and then they sell these buckets with a lid for a dollar a piece and these are the snap down lids good for honey storage jumper cables cast nets whatever but a dollar a piece for these buckets and they, they have all different sizes, but I ate 
even better deal that I discovered yesterday is that Win Dixie throws their buckets away. So this right here is a bucket from Win Dixie that I got for free from yesterday, and they don't wash theirs out. But that's just a bonus. That's free icing. Yeah, that's some good stuff. This one has a, a rubber seal on it and four snap tabs on it. And these are all food grade buckets. So I used to buy these round buckets from Lowe's and Home Depot for five bucks a piece to mix up mortar and grout in. Little did I know I was throwing away a whole bunch of money. But there's you a good tip on buckets. Dollar a piece or free. Check with you local deli.